Hey, welcome back to the Passes of Life. Hope you guys are all having a good weekend on this pretty sad day. Before we get started here, I want to take a second and um, say rest in peace to basketball legend Cubby Bryant and sincere condolences to his family and the others that were tragically killed in the crash today. It's a pretty sad day all around. Um, <clears throat> pretty good haul this weekend, um, warehouse haul. This was one that I actually came across online. Um, some guys that do housing cleanouts. Um, I found it online a few days ago, messaged a guy back and forth. Finally went down and checked it out yesterday. It was kind of iffy at first because I really only had one picture to go off of here. I'm going to show that to you now. But this is what I went off of um, to scoop all this stuff up. Pretty hard to tell, but there's 91 protecting that box right there. Um, there's a lot of sports memorabilia collectibles here. Uh, some football things. See two cases of 89 Don Russ rack packs and a single lonely box of 89 Don Russ over there and some other older, like 90s hockey. So that's really all, all I went off of, but I figured like maybe I'll find some, I don't know, packs and whatnot. I like to send packs off to people <clears throat> here and there and whatnot. And, but I uh, ended up lucking out, and like I said, two boxes of 89 Don Ross, complete boxes for 10 bucks a piece. So that was definitely the, I don't know, score of a lifetime for me at least. But um, I'm going to dive into all this. I went to a card show yesterday. I picked up some singles and then obviously we'll go over all the boxes and everything else. But I uh, showed this last night to you guys, but for any of you guys that didn't see this, this is the Mark Witten 91 Tops Air card. I finally picked it up and wanted this one for quite a few years now. The handover border and there's a corrected version. We actually pulled up a pack last night. Uh, pretty high dollar card now. Usually raw, this card can go from anywhere from like, I don't know, it seems like 60 to like 90 bucks for it raw. It was an auction. I was the only person that bid on this one, so I got lucky. I got it for like 50 bucks with uh, some eBay bucks that I had saved up. So I was pretty stoked to get that. And then uh, the card show yesterday, a couple things here. Let's see. We didn't really find too much there. 10 cent boxes. I always like going through those looking for 90s rookies and stuff. Sean Casey, 96 tops, rookie for a dime. Couldn't pass that one up. I think I have a couple of it already, but picked it up anyways. And Rosario, his 2018 Bowman for a dime. <clears throat> Didn't have that one, so I picked that one off the PC. And then also some dollar rookies. I, I like finding these 90s rookies because I don't come across them very often since I primarily collect rookie cards. But this 96 Bowman, AJ Pierzynski, his rookie. I think that was a buck, but I don't ever see it, so... Didn't have that one, so I added that to the rookie collection. And then Kerry Woods, 97 Bowman's Best. I like this set a lot. I feel like these are pretty tough to come by most of the time. I feel like the only one I really ever see is the Beltry rookie. So, pretty sweet. That was a buck, too. And then today at the Honey Hole, I stopped there. I haven't been there in like two weeks. And uh, <clears throat> found this Raleigh Fingers, 69 tops rookie card. One I did not have in my PC. And this is 15 bucks. It seems like that's like usually like the going rate on eBay from what I've seen in sold listings, like 10, 15 bucks for that card. But um, one I didn't have for my collection, so I had to pick that one up. So thanks, guys, for being here. Appreciate it. And um, also today at the Honey Hole, too, I've had this on my radar for, I don't know, a month or two now. He's had it there. It's 20 bucks. I like 94 SP a lot. I feel like I never see these. And if you want to get yourself a box of these, it's like 400 bucks or over 400 bucks. And I don't, I didn't have the A-Rod rookie in here, so I had to pick that up to add him to my collection, even though a lot of you might not be fans of A-Rod. Still had to have that one in the PC. Let's check these out, though, for you guys that might not remember, 94 SP. Really nice looking set, though, overall. <clears throat> these are the foil cards at the beginning of the set uh, of all the prospects and rookies. Some decent ones in the beginning here. Can't tell if it's stuck together or not, but Derek Lee is a nice one. That's his rookie card. Trot Nixon right after that. So Chanho Park rookie. But 20 bucks, I, I thought that was a good deal for it. And there's Billy Wagner's rookie card. So that's pretty cool. And Preston Wilson, second year for him. But these are the actual design here. The regular base set. There's a bow. Really nice looking card. There's Bagwell, Biggio. But uh, there's Greg Swindell, <laughs> Henderson, and there's a Big Mac. Pretty small set, but I figured we'd check these out because, I mean, I don't know how often you really see 94 SP. There's an Alamar. Look at how old school that phone is. I feel like my dad had that same exact phone in, like, the early 90s. 
Delgado, Molitor. Hopefully you guys can see these all right. I don't know how lighting is in here. It seems like it's kind of dark. Javi Lopez, I always like that car a lot. There's a Maddox. It's a really nice design and very sticky cards. It's that darn UV coating. And there's Gilkey. But uh, Ozzy Smith. Speaking of Mark Witten. So, so, so you get the gist of it. Um, really cool set. I thought that was pretty awesome for 20 bucks. There's a Piazza. Um, just because the A-Rod alone by itself and Pedro J. Martinez. And there's Larry Walker. I'm not going to show you the rest of it. There's still probably about half the set left. But uh, let's dive into some of these boxes. But A-Rod alone is like, a, I don't know, like $15 card raw, I feel like, most of the time. So I figure, why not get the whole set for 20 So that was a pickup from today. And I also got some packs of the card show yesterday. We'll rip those here in a second. 2011 tops, uh, jumbo packs, I guess. 22 cards a pack. I don't have the Freddie Freeman rookie card, so I figure might as well take a chance with these. I think these are $2.50 a pack, so couldn't beat it. And there's a lot of short prints to be found in there as well. So we'll rip those open in a minute here. But yes, 89 per deck, uh, two complete boxes for 10 bucks a piece. And I'm not going to sell these. I'm going to keep one of them, and I'm going to send off packs to people here and there. Uh, and definitely one of them. I have all the rookies out of there. I have the Griffey. The Griffey was actually one of the first rookies I bought when I started collecting again for like 25 bucks or something like that. So um, who knows? They could have been pack searched when they were pulled out of a case originally. I have no idea. But they are definitely jostled around inside of another box when I pulled them out of there. So, um, yeah, I'll send those off periodically to people here and there. And also, this is a nice one, too. This was also part of this lot, 2000 Upper Deck uh, Hobby Box. Plastic's kind of ripped off of there, but uh, the packs seem to be in good condition. Some really high-end uh, <clears throat> jersey and autos, uh, relics to be found in that box. That's pretty sweet. We'll rip that at some point eventually, and um, before everything collapses here. This is a nice find, too, also in the warehouse. Uh, 2000 Metal Hobby Box. And you find autographs in here, too, from Ripken, A-Rod, and also others. These boxes are pretty expensive. Like, these usually go for, like, 150 bucks. So, uh, kind of tough to track down as well. So, I thought that was pretty awesome. Picked that up and also stopped at d and &E Collectibles, my favorite toy store in the area. And picked up this figure. This is probably my favorite figure of the early 90s. I used to love this and used to play with it all the time. Uh, pretty cheap figure overall, but I did not have it on the card. It's a Robin figure from Batman Returns. This was five bucks. Original Toys R Us sticker on it. But I um, always liked this toy line. And like I said, my favorite figure probably in the early 90s. I play with them all the time. Still have them uh, in my parents' attic. But I uh, had to have that on the card, especially for five bucks. Not a real rare one or anything, but uh, made by Kenner in 91. So that was a pretty cool pickup. And um, yeah, wax box wall back here. A bunch of 89 Fleer. Um, two boxes, 91 tops. I figured I'd grab those, look for the Witten. I'm not sure if these 89 Fleer Cello are the, uh, air bot or from an air case or not. I don't, I don't really know how you can tell. Maybe some of you guys know. Um, the number on the case obviously signifies if they are, and it could be an air box or not, but there, I don't think there's anything to signify on the actual, uh, box itself. Same with the wax boxes. So, Pretty sweet. All those boxes, I'm just going to hang on to those. I send those off to people periodically and stuff. And then also, we have... Um, this is a pickup today, too. This is 87 Fleer Cello Box. Grab this. I don't really ever see those either, so... Grab that. I don't know. We'll probably rip that eventually at some point. So thanks, guys, for being here. I kind of went on blabbing for a while there and missed a bunch of your comments, but I appreciate you being here. We might as well rip open... Uh, I don't know. We'll rip open these 2011 packs. Been eager to check these out. And, of course, try the gum here. Tear that tab off. Also got some more packs, too. There's like a bag of 87 tops. Um, I think it's like a half half a box around there. It was five bucks. And a box of 91 per deck. I took that with 91 tops, cello packs in it. Yeah, I don't know about that gum. I don't know. I'm getting a weird feeling about that. Might back out of that now. Let's check out and see if we can find any short prints in here. Or a Freeman rookie card. Still need that for my collection, so. Let's see what we can find in here. Yeah, the bat like 
Nothing too crazy. Freeman, Aroldis Chapman, rookies also in this set. Of course, and we all spun around every which way. I like this design, though. Mike5041 says, will there be 90 tops in the 87 tops packs? <laughs> That'd be pretty crazy. Hoping for a Freeman or one of those short prints from all those old-timers that could be found here, Ian Kinsler. Tim Lincecum. It's a cool one. Cole Hamels. And Melky Cabrera. Nothing too great in that pack overall, though. NCJ Sports Cards. What's happening, man? Yeah, I was going to do a standard video. And, uh, I don't know. I just didn't feel like doing that and uploading it. So, so whatever. I'll do one live. And, I don't know. I have more fun ripping packs when it's live than uh, doing it by myself. Talking to myself. <laughs> That's just me, though. And maybe we'll rip open like a pack of a pack or two of like eighty or eighty nine per deck. See if we can may have some you know first pack magic and pull uh, a Griffey out of there because they're all mixed up. Kevin Euclidus. There's a Joe Mauer. Hey, Criterion Racer, thanks, man. Appreciate you stopping by. Pooch Lemon says Brittany Hay will rip packs with you, John. Yeah, I invited her to, and she uh, she turned me down. <laughs> Joseph C says you got some '88 Don Russ. Hey, watch your corners. What's happening, man? So, kind of a crappy variety in those packs. Nothing too crazy in there, but um, I don't know. Let's check out some of these, I guess, and see what we can find. In these packs. Hopefully there's not like 87 tops in these like there was in the 90 tops. Paul also says in 2011 I went crazy for the oldest Chapman rookie, not Trout. <laughs> I bet you're kicking yourself for that now. Is Alex Cole in this set? He is... I think he's in 89 per deck. Let's see what we can find in here, if we can find anything good. I just want to check the condition of these two and see if they're beat up. Like I said, these packs were all jostled around in, uh, in these boxes. Caked in dust. There's a Ripken. It's a nice one. I don't think Corey's in here. If you if you don't have that one, I'll send it your way. Tom Glavin and Dale Murphy. Not the reverse negative. It's actually another one that I'm after. Still cool, though, anyways. <laughs> Britt calling John a liar. Yeah, I told her to come over at PAX, and she said no. So thanks a lot for that, Brittany. Might as well rip another one. Yeah, we could have had Charlie on. And there's Ripping for Ripkins. His awesome stuff, man. Thanks for keeping the past alive. I didn't know you were even in here, man. Thank you. Yeah, like I said, we just pulled that Kyle Ripkin. If you don't have it, I'll send it your way, man. Check out Corey's channel if you have not yet. He's posted a video a couple hours ago, his mail day. You got some nice PSA 10s. And um, he showcases some other cards you got today, too. You got a ton of mail recently. But some real nice PSA 10s. Ripping for Ripkins. Tim Belcher. <laughs> Joseph C says, I'll come over and rip packs if I can play through G.I. Joe's, too. That is out of the question, man. <laughs> Everyone's demanding that I rip 1990 tops and stop ripping these up. And... Yeah, I'm going to rip on more of these. <laughs> I'm gonna hang on, I'll hang on to one box, and like I said, I'll send off packs here and there randomly. Pretty short live stream tonight, but uh, some other nice rookies we found in here. I'm surprised we haven't seen the Don Mattingly we saw like seven of last night. Molitor and Corey Snyder portrait cards. There's a Cruck, Jay Buner, and Rick Sutcliffe. <laughs> Joe Yangi says, no, 89 per deck are awesome. Rip those. I mean, I'll replay one more. Yeah, I definitely, uh, I have a package coming your way, Joe. I'll definitely throw in a pack 89 per deck for you. And you'll pull the uh, Griffey. <laughs> Jersey says, John, it's awesome. Hit me if you, ever, if you ever go back. Yeah, I told the guy to uh, keep in contact with me. He said he comes across baseball cards. Like I said, there's a lot of 90s toys and stuff like that, too. But uh, not really stuff that I particularly collect or go after. Like, a ton of starting lineups. Other like sports uh, figures. And there's a Biggio rookie I see coming up. I don't want to rip the whole box. I want, to, like I said, I want to send them off to people here and there. 
But uh, there's Biggio's rookie. Always like that card. It's pretty sweet. I never really cared for these little holographic decals. <laughs> Reindeer Studio says it's hey for deck is terrible. Doesn't have Alvaro Espinosa. I, I forgot you are all about him. Rob Dibble, the really sinister look on his face there. Dragon Fan Tim says, I'm going to have to send you my address to get some free 89 per deck packs. Austin the Farmer says, Someone sent me cards, including a pack of 89 Don Ross. Pulled a plunk and thought of you. <laughs> Sam moves five bucks, he ignores your comment. <laughs> Hey, Elkanon, what's happening? Rod White, what's going on? Thank you, thanks for uh, stopping in, you guys. Appreciate it. There's Chad Hopkins that says, we need to do a rip challenge, John. No name on front versus Buck printing plate. Thanks, Chad. Yeah, that would be a good one, man. I don't know what's harder to pull at this point, honestly. Like, some of these packs, like, I don't know. I feel like some of these got, like, stepped on in the process of taking them out of this house, and they were, like, bent up. But uh, I don't know. I don't really notice any blemishes. There's a Moyer, Baines. Yeah, there's a Big Mac. I like that card. There's a Will to Throw, a Clark Portrait, and a Murphy. And a Dave Smith. Ha <laughs> ha you guys are funny. I guess I'll, I don't know, rip one more pack of these. And then, I don't know, probably call it a night. Like I said, I just want to do a quick live stream and check out, show you guys what I got. Um, unless you want to rip 80, or 91, 91 top cello and look for that Mark Witten card some more. I think I left like four or five packs of those last night. I always like that Nolan though. It's a pretty sweet card. A cool one there. Definitely was a Hot one back in the day, too. Vaughn Hayes, never cared for him, and Danny Darwin. Tuesday's break. Um, I think Tuesday's break is going to be 96 Fleer Ultra, honestly. I think that will be what it is. But I want to save some of those upper deck packs for supporters of the channel. And send those off. Let's rip some of these. <laughs> James Reynolds says, rip it. Rip it all. Rip some of these. Uh, see if we can find the Mark Witten error card. Conseco. Ripped a bunch of these last night. I think we ripped like 15 packs. And uh, found one chipper. Mike Lieberthal, rookie card. Larkin. But, uh, yeah, definitely the find of a lifetime. If uh, if you have any clean-out stores near you, like uh, resale clean-out stores, I would definitely advise hitting them up and going and checking it out because I feel like that's where I found the best luck is uh, these places like that because they just they literally take in so much inventory and they just want to get rid of it. So I originally, whenever I went in there, I offered them 10 bucks for – I saw 91 tops, and I was like, I'll give you 10 bucks a box for this. I think that's a fair price. And I started coming across all the other stuff. And I wish I would have stayed there a little longer and dug through more stuff. But uh, Brittany was freezing. <laughs> so we had to take off. Thanks a lot, Brittany. There's a Bonds. Yeah, but there's like a ton of sets. I don't know. There's definitely a good bit of Junk Wax era stuff. And I, and I do like some of that stuff. But uh, a lot of it wasn't really too appealing to me. Wilson Alvarez. I think that might be the era card. Watch your corners as I'm flying back to PA next month, so I'll be getting the Juniatic cards on my way back. That's sweet, man. That's an awesome card shop. Like that one. I try to get out there like every couple months. I'm missing all your chats. <laughs> Is it Gary Carter? Sandberg? Craig B, if you don't have that one. Sandberg record breaker, double Sandberg pack, Smith, Murray, some Matt Williams, maybe like, I don't know, I forget who, somebody said it uh, yesterday, it's that creepy Jeff McKnight card again, can't escape that one, it might be a new bad omen, but um, 
Maybe one of those 91 Tufts boxes might be Desert Shield. I don't know. It's a possibility. It's probably a very slim possibility, but that'd be pretty amazing. NCJ says, I found an 82 Dark Crystal box for 40 bucks and got it. That's pretty awesome. And this is pretty sweet. Benito Santiago, I that was the last card I needed to find you, Chad Hopkins. I could not find that one anywhere to complete the cards you need to complete this set. So must be a pretty tough one to track down. I looked through stack after stack of these and did not pull that Benito until right now. So that will be coming to you, along with the other cards you requested. And as a Gilkey, I think that's actually his rookie cards. <laughs> Alan Trammell, Brett, and Fisk, Record Breakers. Matt Williams, so no, no Mark Witten even corrected version, and no chipper in those packs. And I'll rip one more of these. <laughs> right to your studios. Am I missing stuff? I'm, it looks like I'm missing a lot of things going on there. Sorry, I'm just overwhelmed by uh, the search to find either the reverse negative Murphy or the Scriffy. One more pack, and we'll call it a night. Short and sweet. There's a Yount. Fernando. Weird-looking card. <laughs> Reindeer Studios, the future is alive, John. Get that out of here, man. I reject the future. There's a pocket. Nice one. And just for good measure, I guess I'll open one more. And probably regret it, but... <laughs> one more pack, one more pack. Jake from State Farm, what's happening, man? There's a Conseco All-Star card. Like I said, these could have been pack searched a long time ago when they were pulled from cases. Definitely was a big thing back then. Ron Kittle with the weird-looking cards again. No Mattingly. I mean, we saw seven of it last night, but... Uh, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys my pickups for this weekend. It was definitely a good one. A lot of junk wax and some uh, other nice stuff, too. So that is it. Paul also is Ron Little on the bat, or Ron Kittle on the bat of my watch. Um, and like I said, Tuesday we'll do 96 Fleer Ultra looking for uh, insert cards. But um, until then, that's it, you guys. Um, hopefully see you guys then and hopefully enjoy the rest of your weekend. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. CJ Collectibles says nice haul, John. If you're not sub to CJ Collectibles, please check him out. He just made a, uh, a video a little bit ago, like an hour ago, ripping 94 Bowman tin, and he pulls a refractor out of the Bowman's best pack. So stay tuned for that. Check him out. Subscribe to him. And I'll see you guys all on Tuesday. Thanks again, you guys.